So something worrisome happened the other night. Um, I was in a call. Um, I thought it was, I, I got a call and I saw, this was on Hangout, and I saw the name of a, a friend and it apparently was a, a discussion um, that then was announced as a debate and people were giving four minutes to speak. And it was was the New Testament originally in Hebrew. Now, in any discipline, um, whether it's archaeology, um, historical research, science, anything like that, there's no democracy. The pursuit of truth is is not a round robin forum um and it was shocking the way that the quote mining of the early church fathers um and how some people reacted as these things were big revelations well matthew was written in hebrew well, it was aramaic but then again, we were told that that was the Ebionite version of Matthew. It didn't contain the virgin birth. Um, how close is it to the Matthew that we have today? Who knows? Um, and a misunderstanding claiming that Mark wrote, Mark was the scribe of Peter. Letters of Peter, I don't believe, are written by Peter. Um, but I believe that uh, Peter's teaching and stories and accounts um, are what we find in Mark, um, that Mark uh, leaned heavily on uh, Peter for the narrative of, of the, uh, it, not only the Passion account, but also the, uh, the first uh, two thirds, let's say, of Mark, because there's a division in Mark. You have this passion narrative, and then you have all these just immediately, 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 you just him going around almost no no teachings or anything. Um, him just going around saying things, maybe from a miracle, and then rushing off somewhere else, and you know. Um, And that's worrisome because, um, and they mentioned Eus Eusebius. So, so it's it's like um, it's like I have <clears throat> I I hold um, this position, and this other person holds this position. So I'm going to rack up as as much ammunition, meaning um, sources or so it, things I think that will support my position to defeat the other person. The, the goal is not truth to find out what, what really, what is, what is the answer? It is I'm right and you're wrong. And somebody actually said, well, I didn't think this was a bait. I thought it was a dialogue and the female that was moderating it, I felt it was very snippy, and um, I must kind of, I must apologize on some level because um, I said, okay, I guess well Hispanics aren't welcome because I'm Irish, Arab, and Hispanic, but um, in my experience, Black Americans already hate Arabs. Not all of them. Not all Black Americans hate Arabs, but it, you know, I figured that would have just you know, been like, oh, typical. Um, so I said, okay, I guess Hispanics aren't welcome, and I hung up. Um, but it's also kind of a matter of pride, because if, when, you've been, when you've invested almost two decades of your life into this and take it extremely seriously, 
and then people come along and, and, and quote mine and, and pick and choose and take things out of context. I mean, that's like, it, it's par for the course what the Pentecostal and the Evangelical does with the Bible. You can form almost any crazy cult by taking this totally out of context. Um, Charles Manson did it by blending the Bible and Beatles songs. Jim Jones uh, barely read the thing and actually stamped on it and uh, said he was greater than Christ and that uh, Karl Marx was the greatest leader. And so he kind of had his form of Marxist. Uh, he just used the Bible as a weapon. Um, and it concerns me that instead of reading scripture and it enlightening you and it penetrating and, and going, oh, wow, yeah, you know, that really rub, rubs against my grain. I need to, I need to go out and actually, um, visit sick once a week or, or um, you know, do volunteer work or um, give a portion of my money to St. Jude's Children's Hospital or, or something to that effect or be better, be a better neighbor, be a better son, be a better brother that people look at this to actually justify their own wickedness. And the worst form of wickedness comes in self-righteousness. Once you believe you are the righteous and the world is the wicked, then you can justify all of your greed, all of your vanity, and um, justify your cold disdain for the other. That's why proof texting is, 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 is heresy. And to see it done with the church fathers, if you think damage can be done by proof texting and quote mining the New Testament, things like the church fathers, the desert fathers, and the Philokalia, God help us all. Peace to you. Now, the atheists that I had just responded to with the comments. These are not active Christians. Um, there, I, I don't see them weaponizing it. It's when Christians do it that worry me because that's now in my, that's now in my house, you know? Um, and, uh, it used to be for the longest time, only the Catholics and the Oriental and the Eastern Orthodox even knew about the Church Fathers. But um, it just seems like another weapon for the harsh proselytizing um, American style uh, rough and ready Protestantism evangelicalism and I think uh, I think actually Orthodox need to do more to evangelize uh, because things are getting out of control peace to you